I don't know. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. So, hello there battery lovers. Someone here in Sweden has cracked the Yamaha e-bike system. It's not me. We got a customer request. They have bought this Yamaha battery, uh, Pass B5, with this modified charging connector. But they had this modified connector, a Xiaomi N265 connector. And I was so curious. He said the charging had been working fine with this connector. This customer who bought um, the bike used and the previous owner has modified it by adding a Xiaomi 2 pin connector. And you wanna see what's even weirder? It's working. It, it's very poor conductivity because it's a poor charging port, but it actually is charging. If you get it just right, there you go. And it doesn't stop. And you know what's crazy? It actually charges the battery with a Xiaomi low quality clone copy charger from China. This is a 60 watt charger and you're writing 80 watt. So it's a very cheap charger. With a two pin Xiaomi connector, it's charging a Yamaha battery. There's only one way you could possibly be charging the battery and that's not via the BMS. So I thought this customer had connected positive and negative from the charger directly to the battery. But no, they did something else and it worked. They cracked the Yamaha system by accidentally connecting some wires randomly. This is just the craziest find I have ever seen. And if you use the battery connector, it might still be working without the, the poor conductivity. Let's measure positive and negative. And here it's 35.02 and it was at 34 or something. It's charging very slowly. But that's probably because it's a 60 watt charger. But as you can see, the voltage goes up. It's charging the Yamaha battery. This is just insane. It shouldn't work. Someone in Sweden just shopped in a connector. I'm gonna show you how they did it because it's so strange. The Yamaha has four wires, positive and negative for charging and two for communication. I don't know if it's UART or CAN bus, but since it has just one wire going to the e-bike, it's most likely CAN bus. This customer connected the negative from the Xiaomi charging port he probably got from Alibaba or AliExpress with the black wire and the blue wire, which is a communication wire. And the positive one from the Xiaomi charging port, he connected to the white and the red wire. Let's remove this. If you just connect positive and negative, it doesn't wanna charge. It doesn't start charging. It doesn't do anything with the LED. Nothing happens. But we, we, when we connect this, which has full voltage from the charger, uh, with white being the positive. In the communication, which is most likely three volts or five volts. And we connect the charger. And if we have good conductivity, I understand why this customer was frustrated that you have to get it in just right. There you go. Now it's charging. Now it's dropped a little bit since it uh, was a minutes in we charge it but it's going up come on 35 volts this is insane this is crazy this shouldn't possibly work Yamaha are not stupid they are one of the world's biggest electronics companies you cannot use put 42 volts on the communication and it charges I'm not an expert on Yamaha but I think this red light is supposed to be flashing when it's charging a depleted battery and when it goes up to like 36 volt, this one starts flashing as well. And this one turns completely red. That's usually how the smart indicator works. This could also be an error message, but it is charging. The only possible way I think this can work is that this communication port has some type of over voltage protection because it usually communicates at three volts or five volts, not 42 volts. And since it senses voltage, 
in the communication part, it knows it's a smart charger being connected. Then it activates charging and starts handshaking with the charger. <laughs> but when the charger doesn't respond, just gives a constant 42 volts, it turns off charging. That, but during this handshake time, I think the charger manages to bump up the voltage a little bit. This interaction might just take a second or two. And every time it tries to handshake with the charger, but just keeps getting 42 volts on the communication port, it lets a little charge through to the battery. That's how I think this works. And since we don't know if um, the BMS functions actually work when charging like this, it might not be safe to continue using the battery. So we will suggest buying a new one. I don't know. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. But that might be a simple way to bypass the Yamaha system, forcing 42 volts into the communication wires. I don't recommend it, but that's all I had for today.